Hi there, sign of Pisces. This is Kim here to do your reading. It's going to be for the rest of June 2023. And what we are going to pull, I think we're going to do a, a breakthrough spread um, using double majors and the wild unknown. So first we're going to start off with this Kipper deck just to see what wants to, um, what messages really want to get to you. And if you found yourself here, I guarantee there is a message for you. Privileged lady. Are you a privileged lady? 12. Maybe there's some things that you're able to do right now because of some kind of, um, I don't know. So a, a privilege, you just being you. Marriage in the reverse. And seven message. So this might not have happened yet. That might be why there's like some kind of pathway here. Possibly to you having or, you know, because when I see that privileged lady, I'm thinking, well, maybe it's um, having access to more income in order to do, I don't know, travel and things that you just want to do. So it could be something like that distant horizons so well let's get a breakthrough spread to see what this is even about that'll actually work really good with this so um, yeah. all right so breakthrough spread for Pisces please <clears throat> Okay, what is the pattern or what is the block that Pisces is running into with this? Hmm. It's feeling not so hopeful here. It's it, it, so it may be more about like attitude, right? Might be just about attitude, but it's feeling, it's the other one of the star energy. So it's like the disappointment that something didn't work out. There's more possibilities, but it's just so easy to be like, but I had this and now it's gone. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting. And especially, you know, if this marriage is in the reverse, then it may be like just disappointment in the whole commitment in general. What's the obstacle here? What is the obstacle to getting what you want? Well, we don't have to do reversals because there's two of each. Oh, look, we put the devil. Um, we chained the devil. That's the difference in this card and the other card. In this card, the obstacle is can you um, rein in or pull in your demons? Can you beat your addictions, vices, uh, that which is not good for you that we might be attached to, can we beat that? Can we chain the devil up instead of having the devil chain us? You know what I mean? So you have Capricorn, Aquarius, you could have a child, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I feel like this goes with the obstacle here. Yeah. It's a lesson that doesn't necessarily need to be repeated. Um, something needs to be done in a rather unique and different way by you because you are unique and different. Um, and, and the obstacle is not repeating the same, you know, the same thing, right? Or the same lesson. Okay, what's the breakthrough? Give me the breakthrough card, please, here, spirit. Yep, <laughs> there's the breakthrough. So, like I said, the obstacle is the page of pentacles that's saying, look, you don't, you can do it a different way. You don't have to do it the same way always that you've done it. Um, it's time for a new adventure for you. It's time for you to start investing in something different because this energy here, I'll be honest, is it, it looks like self-sabotage uh, as the obstacle, the, the same decision like over and over. Page of pentacles, something new something new 
Look at all these pages. There's either a lot of children around, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or this is a lot of good news for you. It's just resembling a lot of good news. Tell me about the um, power card for Pisces. What's Pisces power card? Death card in the reverse, so it's a rebirth of some sort or a major change in transformation. And I would say that it's like still taking place or that it's still taking place. The power is, is in the transformation and in the rebirth kind of energy here. Tell me more about, um, whoa, the outcome. Tell me more about the outcome, the King of Cups. That's really being um, very much so in control like of your mood and your emotions with the King of Cups. That's a really great energy. That's lovely. Um, balanced. It might be a mentor. It could be somebody that you reach out to with the King of Cups. A grandfather figure or um, or it's somebody who the outcome is somebody's heart who resonates with yours. And it could be somebody coming in kind of like to compete for that spot for your heart, for you. Yeah, there's an offer, opportunity. This is unexpected love offer or opportunity or loving offer proposal and it's something pretty good and it, it will get you moving in the right direction with the chariot on the bottom so your breakthrough is simply investing in something different investing in something different all right you know what let's get some tea leaves i feel like tea leaves might help us out with this this is more about attitude and um and disappointment but here I have Bo you are highly thought of you are highly thought of Bo red bow what about the obstacle the obstacle is that you're slowly but surely getting ahead I love that so you got the tortoise so the obstacle is just it's taking a while maybe it's taking a while for this person to go down the the path you know that they needed to go down so slowly but surely and then the breakthrough give me more about that breakthrough club somebody trying to do or somebody will make you try to do something against your will that's about falling into old addictions habits or behaviors that are sabotaging to you so that's why it's like necessary to choose a different pathway than the same people or the same things. So it says club. Tell me here about the power. Quill, get back to the basics. Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry, someone is against you. Hmm. Give me something else on vulture. Kite. A vacation time to take a vacation that's a lot you know what that's a whole lot I'll take them but we're just not gonna leave them all out here because it's gonna be a mess so you have kite vacation kite vacation I'm taking these up I'm gonna leave that you have money path the path of money is waiting for you to find it you have Apple temptation will test you crown honor and respect will come to you there's another one with honor and respect door opportunities are waiting for you and there's um taurus energy bull do not back down from opposition which might be that club energy and then i have kite a guaranteed success even if it doesn't look hopeful there is a guaranteed success here yeah, I mean, I think this looks really good. Let's just pull some clarifying cards. And ask some questions. So we're slowly but surely getting ahead here. Help us out with this page of cups in the reverse. Like how do we uh, view something as a fresh new start or how do we have a fresh new start with our own um, dreams and aspirations? 
Um, by not letting too much burden you or not trying to take on too much at one time. This could be about also rearranging or realigning your priorities. What about the power card? Sun in reverse. Knowing what to give to and knowing when it's time to conserve our energy. So this might be about conserving our energy. Another king of cups. Guaranteed success. Somebody here competing with your heart space. Also, this is a really good energy for like if you're leading others, you're leading others in love or in a loving way, and that is being respected too, being fair and um, like diplomatic to everybody. This is might be best about you getting some rest too from these things because of all these things you've been working on. Tell us more about this King of Cups. Scorpio energy, three of cups in the reverse. This could be a tendency to overdo it or to be around uh, people that are kind of connected to these vices or addictions. And so breaking free from that influence, that might be something that's similar to, yeah, let's go down a different path than the same path that led us to overdo something. Tell me about king of cups. The Emperor and the Moon in reverse. So something being revealed, you're going to be pulling out of a very difficult financial situation or that energy of like, I don't want to be alone. Something is going to be revealed here about you getting that inner authority to move forward. And then the Knight of Cups is, is suggesting that there might be an offer or an opportunity that you're wanting to accept. Um, possibly uh, an apology Maybe somebody's dealing with authority or some kind of authority. Page of Swords is saying it's really important um, maybe to listen to all deals or things that are um, really important for you to hear at this time because there can be misinformation or a misunderstanding and therefore communicating wisely is, is here. We've got another page. Page of Swords now. So... I feel like this is also your perception and being able to kind of like read between the lines here. Mm -hmm. um, and this is about coming out, like coming out of being uh, conflicted or feeling conflicted with the Five of Swords and standing in your own authority with that Emperor energy. This is unexpected. Some kind of message here regarding the changing up of a commitment or the changing of a commitment is something unexpected about it. Justice, Queen of Cups, the Fool in Reverse. So moving forward with some kind of situation, let's get, um, let's get some more cards. Let's get some Oracle cards. Oh, I have travel. So that could be that chariot energy. Travel, a trip, a voyage, getting away. Long distance communication will open up in your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. I also have manifestations. A bountiful time awaits you. <clears throat> your wishes could manifest right before your eyes. I have reflection. Friendships in your life may come to an end and others could blossom and become stronger. Reflection. <clears throat> and courage, young heart. Stand, well, stand tall. Don't let the love decrease. You are a warrior of peace. And ask the angels. Oh, nice. Improving health. So something here is um, slowly but surely improving regarding health also. Or that might be a health or health field or career in the health field, something like that. Have don't stop. Whatever you do, don't stop. Look for a sign. Don't stop. Look for a sign with the lightning. And then number seven, you can get through this. Seven, seven, be brave, be bold. 
You possess a refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both informational and spiritual planes gives you a greater awareness than most. It says, I am brilliant. And then I have 666, a wake-up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. So pay attention to the thoughts. Don't let anybody else dictate or peer pressure you into something that's not good for you. Stand up for yourself with your own authority. Be the author of your authority. Three is I am charismatic, but definitely divine creation here for you. Big creative energies. Um, this is a really good time. This is time for you to always reflect, but don't stop at this moment. All right. Thanks, Pisces. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.